First of all, I would like to express my honor to participate in presenting at this international conference on communication study, news media, and social science. I would like to thank University Islam Bandung and Academic International Dialogue for organizing this conference, creating opportunity for researchers, scholars, and students in, uh, to participate in presentation and discussion. The topic of my presentation today is a brought to visual frames from the perspective of visual analysis and framing theory. So now allow me to share the content of the presentation. So this is uh, the outline. The first part will be general introduction to this research. Moving to literature review and meta section, I want to talk about framing theory and I also want to mention the four time model of visual frame analysis from Rodriguez and Dimitrova. Then there will be result conclusion. References. Next is introduction. Despite the increasing number of framing study, most of the research has focused on uh, evaluation of uh, media text, while visual news discourse has uh, remained unexamined. Visual analysis primarily uh, focus on evaluating cultural and aesthetic forms with social aspect being overlooked or marginalized in visual communication. Rodriguez and Dimitrova, 2011, suggested a four-level framework for identifying and analyzing visual frames. The proposed framework considers both the tangible components of images and implicit meanings as well as cultural experiences that audience bring to the analysis. So I uh, want to combine this model from uh, Rodriguez and uh, Dimitrova and uh, framing theory to analyze um, a specific press image. The next slide is literature review and method. Although there is a lack of a consensus within journalism and communication literature regarding uh, the definition and conceptualization of media framing, it is uh, agreed upon that framing is a theory of media effect, examine how a message is presented, how this presentation would affect the content, and how particular elements of this narrative would affect the audience. Armand 1993 uh, suggested to frame is uh, to select some aspect of a perceived reality and make them more salient in a communicating text in a way that to promote a particular problem definition, causal interpretation, moral evaluation, and a treatment recommendation for the item described. Since then, this definition of framing has become one of the most cited definitions uh, in framing research. Now, moving to uh, Rodriguez and Dimitrova's visual frame approach, they suggested a four level of analysis uh, involving the first level uh, is denotative level. Analyze the denotative meaning of the image. The viewer basically answer the question, what is being photographed? This um, level image exists through itself because of its analog characteristic. It's, uh, for example, lines, color, and shape. Elements in an image is a continuous entity that cannot be divided into separate code. The meaning of a single image can only be denotative, that is, first level meaning. And because of this characteristic of the image, uh, images are approached through lines, color, and shape, which are combined to create objects like people, furniture, landscape. These objects are recorded and classified in human brain based on experience. A notable point is that although an image may contain all formality characteristic of all the elements appearing in the image, the viewers only notice what they know. That is why viewers only uh, quickly frame the image around a few central elements. In the second level of reading, it is the analysis of an uh, image style. Formality standards are not only related to how a photographer shoots a photo, 
but also affect how audiences understand and interpret the photo. The standards uh, in terms of photography style that can be mentioned here include camera shot size like wide shot, long shot, medium shot or close up, photo size when printed, a level of photo arrangement, objects, uh, auxiliary object, composition or camera position, and the behavior of photograph subject. In the third level of uh, reading, which is connotative level, uh, this level of reading involves analyzing the connotative meaning of the image. It concerns the characteristic of an uh, image, which are visual messages without code. Image cannot produce complete and coherent syntax because there is no code and no accompanying grammar. This characteristic of image leads to the fact that image often has to be combined with other elements to create syntax. For example, combined with text, headline, or photo caption, or the product name, people, object, and landscape in the photo are no longer seen as individual uh, element, but read uh, together with the value, symbols, pattern, and idea associated with them. So, the final level is uh, ideological level of reading address the process of analyzing the ideological aspect of the image. This reading level does not stop at uh, dissecting the symbolic system associated with the image content, but also consider the question, why is that so? In other words, uh, viewers need to continue investigating to see what mechanism is hidden behind the symbolic system framed in the photo. Next slide is uh, the reason uh, when I apply the model, this model, uh, visual analysis model to analyze a breast image. The article is chosen from news portal, 24 hour news. Article headline, NASA released photo of typhoon number nine hitting to Vietnam. So this is the photo at the first reading level. Uh, this photo show many people, around 16 people giving and receiving objects like a carton sack, large bag. These people are primarily men wearing raincoat. Some people wearing casual t-shirt and short pants. Some people wear helmet and caps on their head. Uh, some people wear slippers, some wear bare feet. Regarding the scenery of the photo, we can see flat water, mud on the ground. Uh, there are two small boats, one with live bulb and another with many bags of rice. Looking further, we can see house, uh, some, um, electricity pond and trees, most submerged in flood water. In a second leading level, the photo is taken at full shot size. Full shot size allows the subject view the frame from head to toe while still allowing some feature of the scenery. Full shot can communicate the appearance, um, trace, or action of character rather than focusing on their feeling emotion. The viewer eye stop at the central scene where people receiving and giving object and then look further at the surrounding scenery, tree, roof, uh, flood water. The scene here is outdoor with natural light, not in a studio with a setting lights and background. The subject in the photo are people in area that are affected by storm and flood. Now moving to the third level, uh, third reading level, the scenery in the photo show the condition of uh, affected area when the typhoon hit. Uh, for example, flood water, mud, gloomy sky, people's clothing indicated that it was raining because people wearing coat, helmet, cap, uh, slippery road, because some people wear bare feet to avoid maybe avoid slipping. Traffic is not under normal condition. The absence of motorbike. Uh, which is the most common means of uh, transport in Vietnam. 
we did not see cars or truck in the or truck in the photo also. Uh, there's only two boats, uh, which are suitable means of transportation in flood area. And um, in the center of uh, the photo, uh, we can see the word Thailand cooking oil on the carton, which is a familiar cooking oil brand in Vietnam. Rice and cooking oil are essential daily food for Vietnamese people and that they were donated in the photo. This implies uh, support and help for people in the flood affected area. At the four reading level, uh, look at the photo caption. There are two idioms. Both idioms meaning imply the spirit of a solid death treaty, love and help those in difficult situations. These idioms related to Vietnamese culture and uh, can be translated into English as the good leaves protect the warm our leaves or the leaves protect the tartar ones. In the context of this photo, the good leaves refer to people who have good living condition or who were not living in the affected area by the typhoon. The warm our leaves refer to people suffering from the typhoon. Another ideological aspect uh, reflected in the photo is relate to the characteristic of Vietnamese journalism, which is content about positivity. Vietnamese journalism promote content about the good, emphasizing good people, good deed. Even in a crisis situation like a typhoon happened, content of uh, positivity is promoted through the image of people giving food in the photo. Finally, conclusion. So I attempted to apply the visual analysis model from Rodriguez and Dimitua to identify and analyze a breast image. Uh, also, take into account the tangible element in images as well as the lantern meaning and cultural experiences. So future research should uh, expand on this model by examining a more significant number of article system uh, systematically. This is some uh, references that's used in this presentation. Thank you very much. And if you have any further question, uh, please feel free to contact me at this email address.